I thought, this is ridiculous. What's going on? Well, hello again, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to be out on the 2018 Goldwing. Going to be heading over to the post office. It is an absolutely beautiful Thursday afternoon, about 12:30, and it's about 65 degrees out here. Just really gorgeous day. So. I need to run a little package over to the post office and I thought, hey, why not just check in with everybody, bring you up to date on what's going on. So that's what I'm going to do. So this last week, I'd say a couple days ago, I had the opportunity to download and install the new Honda update for the 2020, I guess it's the uh, February 2020 update for the navigation audio system. I know many of you have probably already downloaded and done the update. I'll put a link in the description of this video to where you can download the update and uh, from Honda and it will also give you all the instructions you need to follow. So, I did this the other day, and honestly, uh, it's a little disappointing. First of all, it took me three tries to get the update to work. I uh, turned the bike on to ACC mode, you know, uh, turned the ignition switch twice to get it to ACC. I did have the uh, USB drive with the update file already installed in the glove box. And it did find it. It took it about 30, 45 seconds to locate the file and give me the message that said, do you want to perform the update? And I said, yes. <clears throat> and then I went back in the office and just let it run because it took about probably 35 to 45 minutes for it to finish installing. And then when I came back out, my dash was completely off. So it had basically shut down the uh, motorcycle, turned everything off. So when I fired it up again, I turned on uh, the accessory. It gave me a message like it wanted to install the update again. And it didn't even ask me, do you want to install the update? It just started looking for the USB file to do the update, which I've never had happen before. Thought that was a little strange. So I put the USB drive back in again, and it found the updater, and it started doing the whole update again. I went back in the office, did some work, came back out 30, 40 minutes later, same thing. Bike is turned off. Dash is black. Turn the bike on, get ready to start it up, get the same message again, looking for the updater. I thought, this is ridiculous. What's going on? So I thought I'm going to try it one last time. I plugged the USB drive back in the third time and it found the updater, started going through the whole update process a third time. And I actually sat there on the bike while it did the update the third time. I didn't want to leave and walk away. I wanted to see what it was doing. And uh, sure enough, it seemed to work the third time through. In fact, once it was finished updating, uh, you know, it basically started up the dash like normal and the radio came on and all that. So uh, I uh, am pleased to report that the third time was the charm and it did actually apply the update. Now, the disappointing part is I can't honestly tell you what I gained by doing this update other than losing my Sirius XM presets. 
I don't really know that there's that much improvement. There supposedly is some waypoint error that's been improved. Uh, I've already kind of gotten used to the idea of not using the built-in Honda GPS. I have it on right now because I'm doing some testing with it. But generally, I don't use it because it's just a disappointment. So, they certainly didn't improve it enough to make me want to give up my Garmin Zumo. So, don't get your hopes up. If you're thinking this is going to be a major update to your audio navigation system, uh, then you're going to be disappointed because it's simply not much there. Um, not even the graphics have changed. I mean, I can't tell any difference in the navigation system. It looks the same to me. So, but I got it done. And for those of you who want to apply the update to your 2018 or 2019, uh, probably not a bad idea to do it. Uh, if any of you have had the similar problems getting this to install, put it in the comments down below. I'd be kind of curious to know if anybody else had to do it two or three times like I did. Because that's the first time I've ever had that particular problem. So just real quick, I wanted to let you know that this video today is being sponsored by my Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. And we are running a special promotion right now. For springtime, look at this beautiful weather. Now is the time to get your bike ready to ride because this kind of weather will be commonplace here before too long. For some of you, it already is. So now is the time to get your oil changed, get your air filters changed, check those brake pads, replace them if necessary. And my maintenance videos will show you how to do all of those things and more and will save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in dealer labor charges so we have a promotion right now called spring 15 check it out i'll put the link in the description below and that's all i'm going to say about that for now but we got all of our uh, six led lights sent out we got all of our uh, socal moto gear pathfinder led work lights sent out Everybody should have them by now if you were one of our uh, drawing winners in our 2020 Goldwing survey. Hey, I have a question for you right now. I just thought of, how many of you watch YouTube on your television at home? I've been doing this in the evenings, and I wonder if that many people actually watch YouTube on your smart TV. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll even put a little survey up in the corner of the screen. You can answer me if you do use YouTube on your television. So as most of you know, I'm getting over the flu. Uh, it's been about three weeks now, and uh, just now, I'd say getting pretty close to 100%. I still have a little bit of a cough. Not quite 100% yet, but it's in sight. Uh, it's taken me quite a while to get over this one. Uh, it's been a tough one. And I know some of you have put comments in below that you've had the flu or had pneumonia and you've had similar situations. Some people asked me if I had the coronavirus. I don't really know. I can't say I don't, but uh, don't really know because I uh, wasn't tested for it. I suspect there are probably tens of thousands of people out there that have the coronavirus that don't know it because they're, they haven't been tested. So a lot of people probably just figure they have a cold or the flu or something like that. And I do think a lot of the hype over the coronavirus is overblown. I think you're going to see that in the long run it's probably not as dangerous as the regular flu. I know that they say it's three times more deadly but there's no way they can know that yet because they don't have enough numbers yet they don't know how many people actually have it and there could be a million people that are already infected and they don't know it yet because they haven't been tested so like most things i think uh, the media and the politicians tend to blow everything out of proportion 
create a lot of unnecessary fear. But that's just my opinion. But I gotta tell you, the flu is bad enough. You don't have to have coronavirus to be pretty sick. So, I uh, did a video on the FOBO TPMS system. And a lot of you, I got really good responses from that. I should have mentioned in the video, I forgot to, but I should have mentioned they also make a, a three sensor unit for those of you that have a trike or if you have a Can-Am. Uh, they make a three sensor model or a three sensor kit, I should say. And I believe they're coming out with the FOBO for automobiles if they don't have it already. I know they're coming out with a new one for automobiles and I will be testing that too. And like I say, we have TPMS on the Goldwing on the 2018, but it doesn't tell you the tire pressure before you start moving. Because Honda has the uh, trigger mechanism set up on centrifugal force, so once the wheels start spinning after a certain amount of time, it turns on the sensors. So until that happens, you get no reading on the dash of what your actual tire pressure is. And I'm not sure how the FOBO system works. I'm not sure if it's whenever it detects the app is pinging it. Maybe that's what turns on the sensors and it's able to do it while the bike is still sitting in the garage. Uh, however it does it, I don't know, but it's pretty cool because I can see my tire pressure before I leave and start riding. That way I know if I need to put air in the tire. It's a very cool system. Very nicely done. So, that's about it for today. If you like this video, I'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. And I will be coming out with some new videos very soon. More products to review, more things to talk about. I may just do a couple of vlogs from the office. I'm not sure if some of these, we're having off and on kind of rainy weather. So if it's raining outside, I may just do something from the office. So thanks again for joining me today. I'm here at the post office, gonna drop off my package and then I will do a little riding around while we got this nice weather. Thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.